Hello viewers, today we're going to be taking a look at a lot of X10 equipment. I have got this off eBay for a whopping $20. I've kind of been avoiding eBay recently because the prices on a lot of stuff seems to just be unreasonably high. But every now and again you'll come across a good deal in there still. And this was one of them. I started to open this up the other day, but I said oh, this stuff's pretty cool, we gotta get it on video. Um, excuse the sound of my voice, I have contracted the infamous plague that is going around. So we'll have to make do uh, as it is. Alright, so um, we got a couple of standard things. It's not standard, like current. Get this out. Okay. So we got some standard modules here. I believe these are still being sold. Of course, these things came under a million different brands. This one is under Health Zenith. And this one is under Radio Shack. Um, this is a uh, three pin appliance module. Can always make use of those. This is a lamp module. These are, are great for Christmas time. And this is kind of an interesting uh, splitter. Looks like the plugs come out the front. Uh, so when it's plugged into the module here, the dog are packing peanuts, uh, the plugs are, are facing away from the wall. That's kind of neat. We've got... Now all this stuff is pretty old, you can see it's all yellowed. Uh, we've got a, a wall switch. Um, let's get past some of this mundane stuff here. Alright, this is a little more interesting. So this is a relatively old um, 16 channel remote. Uh, you have the, the selection there for 1 through 8 or 9 through 16. House selection. Feels like it, all the buttons are still good. It needs to be cleaned. Um, no batteries. But everything is corroded up there so we'll have to get that cleaned out. This is model number RT504, and I guess this would have been the, the prior generation, if you will, to the remotes that I like to use, or just the ones that I've had and have adapted to using. So this is a BSR remote control. I'm not sure if this is the same as these other modules because it also has this, and I'm not really sure what this does, quite frankly. It looks like it may have a speaker in there, or a microphone, or something. Um, there's a couple of these boxes in there. Don't know what this is, um, so we'll have to get the manual out. Fortunately, there is some manual in there. Uh, of course, I don't know if this is going to cover this product or not. Um, I don't know if we have any date codes on here, but it's got to be pretty old. Printed in Hong Kong. Even works outside the house. I will say there are, these controllers actually do have a pretty notice, uh, notable range to them. Here's the mystery box. Really don't know what this does. Made in Malaysia. This does not appear to be an infrared remote. I believe this is an RF remote. This is also made in the Philippines. Here's a plug-in controller. Mount on the wall, which is pretty cool. It's heavily yellowed. So here are some pretty old modules. Now, what's kind of neat about this system is it's very backwards compatible and I believe these modules will still work with the new ones as far as I know it. They're all pretty much the same. These are laid out a little bit differently. The controls is on the side but I believe they would still interface just fine. Got another wall switch Got the box for a wall switch. This is also branded Radio Shack. Let's see a date code on there. We have outlets here, uh, remote controlled outlets. 
This I've never seen before, so that's pretty cool. It's got some thick wiring on there. It's got to be like 12 gauge. It is 12 gauge. Here's the box for a wall switch. There's definitely some drastic yellowing going on here. I like these wall switches over these because this you just stick on the wall anywhere you want and you get four channels. Now we got some more papers here. Another wall switch. A slightly yeah uh, a slightly less yellowed plug-in controller. Another uh, lamp module. This is kind of interesting. This looks more like a regular light switch. That's pretty cool. A transceiver module. A General Electric uh, appliance module, health zenith lamp module, a Radio Shack uh, transceiver. This has got an interesting design to it. That's kind of cool. All right, now we can get into the really interesting stuff here. Original box and all. The timer. Now that very well may be a vacuum fluorescent display. I'm not entirely certain yet. But uh, this is really cool because oh wow, there's a lot of documentation in here. There's the manual for the oh there's manuals for all sorts of stuff in here. Manual for the uh, plug-in controllers. Here's the timer itself. I like this timer design a lot better than the... That seems to have come off of there. I like the design of this timer a lot more than the one that they're currently making because I just think this control thing is really cool because you can close it and keep the dust out of the the electronics there and, and whatnot. Let's just plug this in and see what it looks like here. And it's not a vacuum fluorescent display, but it's still very cool. And it does appear to work. So I'll go ahead and put this back in here. Manual for that remote. Another mystery box. Um, there's a telephone interface here. I'm not sure exactly how that is, how it works, what it does, etc. Um, maybe that's what the mystery boxes are. I don't know. No, there's no telephone jack on there. We got another timer, which is cool. Lamp module. I really don't like packing peanuts. This is a an earlier wall switch, also heavily yellowed. Another mystery box. I really got to find out what these things do. Wait a minute, does it? Oh, Durr. ultrasonic command console. Okay. I I guess this probably has something to do with this. Actually, you know what? That would make sense because it does look like there's some kind of a 
receiver there, like a microphone, and this appears to have a oh, speaker or something inside of there. So maybe this is like a plug-in controller and this works off of this. And these probably would have to go in every room that you want to use it in because I don't think ultrasonic would pass through a wall or whatever. Alright, mystery solved. A lamp module. Huge uh, um, transceiver, I guess. Lamp module. Wall switch. Lamp module. Lamp module. Lamp module. Wall switch. Oh, that's cool. Look at this. So this is for the telephone interface, I believe. Is there a telephone interface in here? I'm not entirely sure. Um, this is... I don't know what this is. Temperature. Maybe this is just a regular module. A whole mess of lamp mo or actually that's an appliance module. So here's a look at everything we got. We have four of those um, in the uh, infrared. What was it? Ultrasonic controllers from uh, three different brands on them. Although I believe they're all the same thing essentially. Uh, we got a whole bunch of these older style modules, some miscellaneous modules, some old remotes, wall switches wired in, newer modules plug-in controllers. I got two timers, which is good because most houses nowadays have two phases, and so you actually need two timers if you're going to control things all over the house. And then a plethora of documentation, probably for everything here and then some. So, pretty good deal for uh, $20. Definitely going to get a lot of use out of this stuff.